everyone, it's Allison. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be making this really sweet, cute, and rather simple card using products from Waffle Flower Crafts. So we're going to be doing some die cutting. And as you can see on the larger trees, we're going to be doing just a little bit of stitching. But this stitching couldn't be any easier. So let's jump in and look at the products we're gonna be using. The dotted triangle trees, those were just released this month from Waffle Flower. And here they are, I've cut them out from various colors of cardstock. And so this is how I've seen people layering these up and then stitching them together. But I decided I wanted to do things a little bit differently. Big shock, I know. I'm gonna be putting the smaller triangles at the top. And so they're gonna kind of look like striped trees or uh, kind of like an ombre effect. So that is how I am going to stitch my trees together. But before we do that, we're going to start with our panel. So this is the Christmas tree panel die. And this is an oldie but a goodie. I think it's probably several years old. And I just cut it out of white cardstock twice. And the little trees that pop out when you die cut, I am not gonna throw those away. I'm gonna save all those because you never know when you want little tiny trees on your cards. So I'm just gonna glue these two together. And I like having two because when the colors show through below, it just adds a little bit of dimension. And speaking of colors, I have cut strips of paper, the same colors I used for the trees, and you'll notice there's five columns on the card panel, and there's five colors that I used for my trees. So I'm just gonna add those strips behind my panel, just like that. So I could have even done something easier. So if you have JJ's Rainbows paper pad, uh, which is one of my favorite paper pads ever, you'll see that there's paper in this uh, pad that lines up with this die and even this smaller stripe here. And if you can see, you can even get like a little duotone tree depending on how you shift the paper. And by the way, Waffle Flower's other panel dies like this. Um, like I have the stars panel. I think there's also a hearts panel just like this. Um, and this is another paper pad from Waffle Flower. This is the Christmas stripes. So same thing. Um, I, so I could have used this paper pad, but you know, I, I love my pinks and greens. So I wanted to kind of just make my own strips. So now I'm just cutting them to length and I will just simply glue these strips to the back of my panel. And by the way, the before I forget, because I, I very often forget to say things during my videos, these dotted trees, you'll you see them at the top there, um, they have other shapes in this dotted family. Uh, I made a card with the dotted hearts die set. Maybe that was this summer. Um, so I will link to that at the end of this video. You'll see how I made a card using those hearts and I did stitch those as well. And if you're, if you've never done stitching on a card, maybe you're intimidated by it. Maybe you don't like stitching. I think that small dies like this number one if you've never done it before they're a great way to start with stitching on your cards and number two if you if you just don't like doing a lot of stitching then again these are great because they're small there's really not a lot of stitching involved so speaking of stitching let's get to it so I just have some green embroidery floss and I have all six strands. So I use DMC floss. There's six strands um, and I'm using all six. So I'm just going to put the needle and the, the floss through the top hole. 
Now, normally I would use a piece of washi tape and I would, I would tape that loose end down. But because I'm at the tip of the tree, I don't, I can't really put tape. It would cover all the other holes. So I'm just going to hold on to that little end until I feel comfortable that, that everything is secure. Um, and I work my, my way down enough on the tree that I can actually put tape. So I'm doing very simple stitching. I'm just going down one and then back up so that I have kind of a continuous looking stitch. So again, I'm gonna go up to the next hole, then back. This just couldn't be any easier. So again, there's nothing fancy here. If you've never stitched on cards, start with something like this, do an easy stitch and see if you like it. Uh, it just, there, it takes no time at all. And, you know, you can go to Michael's or I don't know where else you shop locally, but they have tons of embroidery floss. And, you know, pick your favorite colors and just try it. I think that stitching on a small element like this just add something extra to your card and something unexpected and certainly nothing that you'll find uh you know in the card section at your grocery store so i just think it's it adds something special so here i'm quickly finishing up and i will secure that that uh loose end with some washi tape and there we go we're all done so I will do the same with the pink and I chose my embroidery floss colors the pink color is kind of in between these two pinks that I used and um, I don't know I think it looks pretty cute so I I do like stitching on cards. Um, I think I've mentioned this in previous videos. If it's if it's a lot of stitching, uh, I usually do that when I travel because it's just, you know, you can't really die cut when you're traveling. You can't really stamp, um, but you can stitch. You can die cut a bunch of pieces before you leave and Take a little kit of embroidery floss and needles and a little scissors. And um, I usually have my little washi tape roll as well. And it's just a great thing to do when you travel. All right, so one thing I want to mention, this panel, when it, when it gets cut, is not um, a full A2 size. So I'm going to attach it to this green panel. And the way my stripes went on the back, it's creating kind of an uneven level. Like I can't put glue on the white edges because I have pretty thick cardstock strips. So I am using the leftover piece from when I cut this panel because I cut it out of a A2 sized piece of paper. And I'm not gonna let those little strips go to waste. I'm just gonna cut them off and I'm gonna glue them onto the sides of the card. And so these strips will then be kind of at the same level as the colored strips of paper. And so then I'll be able to glue this onto my panel and, you know, I'll just know that the sides are secure. I just prefer to have my edges nice and secure to the card. So, you know, this little piece was going to get thrown out anyway, and now I made use out of, you know, what would have gone in the trash, and it helps my card out. So just using liquid glue, and I will add that to my A2 green card base. All right, so now it's 
time to attach the trees, but I thought it would be cute to add a little trunk to the tree to kind of mimic the trees that are on the panel. So I just cut a little strip of paper and I'm attaching it to the bottom. And by the way, there are there is a set of tree dies uh, that have a trunk from Waffle Flower. You see them right here. This is just a snapshot from their website. So if you have no interest in stitching, um, those dies are really cute. And I think there's like some matching products with those, maybe some stencils and some stamps. Um, so you might want to check that out if, if you're not interested in stitching. So here I'm using my craft mat as a way to just help me line up that little trunk and make sure the trunk looks straight. All right, so because I have stitching on the back, uh, it creates a little bit of bulk. So I am putting some foam tape everywhere else. Um, you know, not on top of the stitching, just around it. So this is my all to new foam tape. And this is a pretty good depth tape. And I really actually love this tape. Uh, I know in recent videos you've seen me finishing up my, my yellowed scotch <laughs> tape. And I have had this all to new foam tape. I just, I tend to hoard my good stuff. All right, so for the pink tree, I need it to be a little bit higher. So this is um, foam tape from Simon Says Stamp. And this is thicker than the all to new foam tape. So this will help me, because the pink tree is gonna overlap the green tree a little bit. So I'm just trying to figure out where to put the foam tape on the pink tree. Um, but, and I know I've mentioned this before as well, it, it's nice to have different kinds of foam tape and foam squares that have different depths for, for purposes like this. Um, that way you can put things at different levels or if you have to overlap one on top of the other, it's just nice to have options. So, I'm just popping these up on the panel and it's looking so cute. So for the sentiment, I reached for something that I've been using a lot of lately. This is the print and script Merry Christmas set from Waffle Flower. And I haven't used the Christmas words yet. I just keep using the Mary's. And this is actually obviously the script Mary. And I love how the Y just kind of nestles in between those two trees and I used black glossy cardstock and I really didn't feel like I needed a sub sentiment. Um, usually when I use Mary I just think it's enough to say Mary. So that is it for my card today. Uh, I think it is so cute and of course it makes me happy because pink and green for the holidays is just one of my favorite color palettes. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and I hope you subscribe. Thanks again. Bye-bye.